Hello, my name's Val Maunder and I'm a qualified florist and I teach for Somerset Skills and Learning. Today I'm going to teach you to make a very simple and a slightly more complicated buttonhole because they're very useful and this will lead you into uh, a wedding design course if you wish to take it. You don't need very many things or much equipment to do these very simple things. Probably things you've got at home except the wires. Um, carnations, I'm sure you know, are very, very popular for buttonholes. And here I've got a really nice red carnation. Sometimes if they're not really open, it's very simple to just give them a little hair and a brush and they will open up bigger for you. And that's very useful because if you're making a buttonhole, of course you want it to look very full and at its best, not tightly closed. First of all, you need to take some fairly strong wire. Wires come in different gauges and the heavier your flower, the heavier your wire needs to be. And we're just going to take a short length. I'm going to have to do this with a heavier pair of wire cutters because those are not doing the job, that's it. And as you can see, I've cut the length of the stem to about an inch. Now if you hold the stem of the flower, never the head, because you will bruise the head, in your hand and very gently push this wire into the flower until it goes right into the head. And you will see it come out at the top. It's a very, very strong stem, this one. And it doesn't matter that it hasn't come out at the very center. And you just turn a, a hook on the top of the, flat, of the wire so that you can see the hook there. Bend it in quite tight and then gently pull it back down through the flower until it disappears. I say this is a very new um, carnation and the stem is very, very strong. Sometimes they go much easier than that. So once you've done that, you have now made a stem on your carnation from a wire. And the reason we wire flowers is because if you were to leave them on their natural stem, um, I have a stem here, and if they move just a bit too much, that's what happens to the stem, and they finish up with their buttonhole hanging down instead of standing up very nicely. So we replace the stem with a wire that's going to do the job. Now we don't just want a flower on its own, we need a little bit of background going on here. So, I am going to use an ivy leaf, again cut the stem off to about an inch. Um, ivy leaves are really wonderful things because A they are very durable and B they are free because you can collect them in car parks and most places but never the park because if you collect them from the park you might finish up in prison. Um, to wire leaves you need a much finer wire, this is real wire, comes obviously on a long reel and you just need quite a nice length and you are going to stitch this leaf just as if you were putting a needle into fabric. Make a nice small stitch about two thirds of the way up the leaf near the top and then very gently pull the wire through, hold it at the bottom so you've left a nice loose loop there and wind one wire round the stem and the other wire in one place. You don't want to corkscrew it all the way down the stem because that makes you a very knobbly stem. And then you're going to trim that wire off a bit so that you have now got a leaf on a stem. What we need to do next is to cover these so that they look a bit more presentable and this is called stem tape. There's different sorts of stem tape, but the one I prefer is, the, is this um, plastic one. I'm just warming it up a bit because it works much better if it's warm. 
and you just quite literally, I'm going to trim that off so it doesn't make a horrible knobbly bit at the top. Hold your tape at the top of the flower. Put your tape between your hands and your finger and your thumb. Take it to the top. And as you wind, you wind the flower onto the tape, not the tape round the wire. So you very gently roll this. And as you're rolling, you're stretching this tape between your finger and thumb, which will give you a very nice, fine stem. You can see that? It hasn't made it thick and horrible. And you do exactly the same with your leaf, right up at the very top so you can't see any wire. And very gently take it down the wire, and just pull it off, and then you are going, I'm going to use one big leaf for this, but you could use three if you wanted to. And then I'm going to put a little bit of wire round the top to join the leaf to the flower. A little green wire. We use green so that it's obviously, um, you know, it's not so intrusive. You won't see the green at the back of the leaf like you would a silver wire. And then just corkscrew this round and pull these down nice and straight. And then we're going to tape again. Every time you wire, doesn't matter what you're doing, if you wire, you tape. And just again, tape down to the end. And cut that off so that it's about roughly three inches long. Slightly tip your head forward so that you've got, and there you've got your buttonhole. But before you actually present this to anybody, they're going to need something to actually join it to their clothes. Mo mostly, you would send it with a pearl-headed pin, but there's lots of different pins on the market these days where you can have diamantes or all sorts. So a nice big pin, and when you're sending it to somebody, you would send it like that with the pin just popped into the base of the carnation so that they've got it to wear when you deliver it. <laughs>